Good morning, everyone. This is Brad Matheny. Today's the 15th. This is a quick little update. We're rolling pretty hard to the downside, almost three quarters of a point, uh, percentage point. Pretty big roll here. I'm going to show you. This is the SPY. I'm going to go down to maybe a, a 10 minute or 15 minute and show you again that we're getting this real solid breakdown in trending. And uh, this is exactly why the SPY cycle patterns and the work that I do is so important for all of you. I mean, you wouldn't have known uh, to expect to sell up in this area, you know, four days ago, uh, three, four days ago. You wouldn't have known that this is setting up a, a buy trigger uh, right now. You wouldn't have known this type of information. And like I said, the the SPY cycle patterns, even though they're not perfect, you know, I try to interpret them the best that I can. And, you know, I've given very clear um, interpretation as far as what the markets are doing and how we're going to see this trend. So I'm going to tell you right now that if my analysis is correct, we're going to get a gap reversal here in counter trend mode. Okay, so we've got this gap down in a reversal. I believe what we're going to see here, and we'll see. I mean, this is kind of uh, just me trying to help you guys out as best I can, is I believe we're going to see a moderate recovery rolling back up into this area, 591, 592, so probably around this 592 area, maybe a little bit higher, and then maybe we roll into some sideways trading near the end of the day. Okay, so this gives you an idea of where we're at. Uh, and we've got this already, this fairly deep move. I don't believe that we're going to get a, a real solid uh, a breakdown in trend. I think that this big move here is going to revert back up to fill the gap. Now, let's come over here and take out, take a look at the crash index. Drag this out of the way here. Crash index is higher today. Look at this. Really not seeing a downward trend. We are seeing SPY move downward, which is reverting back into this normal channel. Try to give you an idea of where we're headed. We're kind of headed into this kind of a reversion, probably back down into 583, 584, eventually maybe a little bit further. Um, the dollar is rolling slightly into sideways uh, type of trending, which is great. That's going to be a relief for gold and silver. You can see gold down here moving a bit into a basing bottoming formation, just like I said here. Um, we're looking for really kind of a, a, a deep low excess phase peak, inverted excess phase peak pattern here. Um, and again, this crash index is really not changed yet in early trading. We need to see how this plays out because... I don't expect a quote unquote crash. I do expect kind of what you're seeing here in this green line. I expect it to come down and try to fill this gap and then base. That's where the anomaly event is setting up, trying to come down and fill this gap. So really looking to, you know, move down into this area, uh, which is uh, 7270, 7280. Um, so again, uh, getting a pretty good roll here, really getting a roll. And I think you're going to see a, a nice solid recovery. You're looking at maybe a uh, about a four-tenth of a percent rally potentially here. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be aggressively selling. I don't think this has got much more to the downside. Um, I think that we're looking at that pullback. And as I showed you, you know, we then move into that moderate recovery phase. So I really do believe that this is, you know, it's it's clean. You can see here, we've got the breakdown. I think we roll into consolidation like we're seeing here. I'll do it in a some kind of a color that can stand out. So I'll do it here. You can see we've got this flagging, this recovery right across here. This breakdown into consolidation, I think we see a 
move like this and then we see it break down eventually out over here so remember guys we're moving into this consolidation phase right here this is a it's actually a, a very interesting kind of a setup let me drag this down so here's our peak as our number one here is our pullback flag as number two okay this then brings us down into this number three which sets up a broad pullback so this is now a pullback into a flag up here this sets up a bigger broader number two pattern so this is let's call it the big number two okay and we'll shrink this up drag this over so what we're looking at here is this number one is the shorter term excess phase peak pattern and the number one for the big excess phase peak pattern now the number three for this big number three will likely be down in this area okay that will be the big broad pullback that occurs which is this big rolling pattern here so at this point it rolls and it rolls down into this area setting up our number three moving into consolidation this will also be the end of the first number five so this is also well let me do this also number five so the big number three is potentially the end of this wave here now throughout this rotation over here we're likely going to get some new excess phase peak pattern so what i mean is if we continue downward and break below this level into a new downtrend we'll likely get some excess phase peak pattern setting up over here telling us what's going on if we break to the upside okay we will likely get that inverted pattern over here an inverted pattern would look something like coming down into this area rolling back up flagging downward and then breaking to the upside okay so that's what an inverted pattern would look like let me make that red and i truly hope all of this is helping you i mean i am trying to show you how i read the charts and what i try to do you know i'm really not into uh uh you know trying to day trade over you know over the top i have too much going on i have phone calls after i code i have to you know build things for people i'm more into kind of this swing trade scenario like i'm showing you and you know the idea here is i want to catch some of the biggest moves so you know what i'm looking at now is i'm looking at this low setting up off this sell trigger and i'm looking at this reversion this flagging so right now i'm looking at the ability that we have this mode going up we're we're getting into this rally phase try to make it something light blue we're moving into this rally phase up into this mode uh and what i think is going to happen is you're going to have a pretty good opportunity to see the spy move from where we're at right now 589 roughly uh all the way back up into somewhere around the 595 that's about a you know what is that about a one and a half percent move sorry uh yeah a one percent move about a five dollar and forty cent move to the upside that's what's coming in my opinion and just like i marked here with the buy here area we need to look at lows you know if if i were to give you any you know indication of what's going on here i would tell you again zooming out so you can see it you know all my crazy lines and again i'm sorry but i'm trying to share with you what's going on look so we're way down here 
we're way down in this area right now, right? I'll bring the front. There we go. We're way down in this area right now. And I believe getting buying into the SPY down below 58, uh, 588.70, 588.50 would be a stupendous buy trigger here. So really kind of down in this area, which is call it 588.40, 588.50 or lower would be a stupendous buy trigger uh, for the opportunity back to the upside. Okay, I'm really looking for kind of a basing bottoming formation through here and we shall see what happens. But right now we need to unwind some of this pressure. Okay, so a gap reversal uh, would indicate that we're getting a change in trend. We had been rolling slightly downward. There you go. You're right down into that buy zone now. Uh, but a gap reversal pattern would indicate that we're going to come down. We're going to try to find some support and we're going to roll back to the upside slightly. So again, just a quick little update. Try to tell you what's going on um, and get rid of that. And we will see how this plays out. Like I said, kind of looking for a, uh, right now, this consolidation, I think we're at or near this consolidation low, and that would then suggest that we're moving into this big, broader um, flagging pattern. Okay, guys, that's it. Pay attention and go get some.